Hi, I'm Marini, an MD-PhD student in Ana Greca's lab, and I'm excited to tell you about the work we've done to understand a rare kidney disease due to CoQ deficiency. Our lab focuses on studying rare genetically defined diseases to identify therapeutic target for the treatment of kidney diseases. Here we studied a set of rare mitochondrial diseases. Now the kidney has the second highest mitochondrial content in the body, a function concentrated in tubular epithelial cells. Accordingly, mitochondrial diseases classically affect tubular cell function in the kidney. However, unlike other mitochondrial diseases, mutations in the, co in the mitochondrial CoQ biosynthesis pathway, including in an enzyme PDSS2, lead to nephrotic syndrome. As you know, nephrotic syndrome is caused by injury to the podocyte, a specialized epithelial cell of the kidney's glomerular filtration barrier. However, the precise mechanisms by which CoQ deficiency leads to selective podocyte injury remain unclear. To answer this question, we use the PDSS2 KDKD mouse model. This model has a missense mutation in the PDSS2 enzyme, and these mice have been previously characterized to have nephrotic syndrome. We chose to do single nucleus sequencing on these mice, hypothesizing that the resolution afforded by single nucleus sequencing would allow us to identify podocyte-specific pathways for therapeutic intervention. As you can see, at five months of age, these mice have classic histologic signs of nephrotic syndrome, including podocyte foot process effacement on EM. When we performed pathway analysis on the podocyte cluster, we found a podocyte-specific upregulation of MAP kinase pathway genes in disease. Therefore, we targeted this pathway using the BRAF targeting compound GDC0879, and we were very excited to see that following 14 days of treatment, disease mice had a significant reduction in their urine albumin, a marker of podocyte injury. We then wanted to better understand the underlying mechanism and metabolic perturbations in these cells, and therefore developed an in vitro model using shRNA knockdown of PDSS2 in mouse podocytes. We hypothesized that podocyte injury could be due to either a deficiency in CoQ or a buildup of upstream toxic metabolites. First, we characterized the known functions of CoQ to assess the effect of CoQ deficiency in these cells. However, remarkably, we could not detect meaningful changes in any of these functions in knockdown podocytes. Therefore, we sought to characterize other metabolic perturbations in these cells. We found that in the conditioned media from these cells, there were elevated levels of polyunsaturated fatty acids, or PUFAs. Furthermore, arachidonic acid, one of these PUFAs, led to selective cell death in knockdown podocytes compared to controls. We wanted to validate this in vivo. Therefore, we used GPX4 as a transcriptional readout of exposure to PUFAs. GPX4 is an enzyme which is known to protect cells from PUFA-mediated lipid peroxidation. At the mRNA level, we found that GPX4 mRNA expression was highly increased in podocytes compared to proximal tubule cells. Furthermore, we quantified glomerular GPX4 protein expression in control, disease, and GDC0879 treated mouse and found that GPX4 protein expression was increased in diseased mice and subsequently reversed by treatment with GDC0879. Finally, we wanted to assess the broader relevance of these newly identified disease pathways to other glomerular kidney diseases. For this, we used the NephroSeq database, which is a publicly available human kidney, kidney gene expression database. We chose to look at the expression of MAP kinase pathway genes and GPX4 along with proteinuria as a readout of podocyte function. Similar to our data, we found that in human glomerular samples from patients with FSGS, Proteinuria was correlated with both RAF1 and GPX4 expression, and that RAF1 and GPX4 expression were correlated with each other. Therefore, in conclusion, we have demonstrated that single nucleus sequencing of CoQ deficient mice revealed a therapeutically targetable perturbation of the MAP kinase pathway in podocytes, and that podocyte injury was reversed by the BRAF targeting compound GDC0879. In vitro metabolomics revealed a perturbation in PUFAs, which was validated in vivo. In vivo, GPX4 expression in glomeruli was reversed by treatment with GDC0879. And that RAF1 and GPX4 expression correlated with podocyte injury in human glomerular samples of FSGS. Thank you.